Let's quickly switch over to the presidency. Let's hear from the spokesperson of the president on what they brought back from Morocco. Uh, joining us on the program tonight is a special, you know, special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Malam Garba Shehu, joins us on the program now. Thank you so much, uh, Malam Shehu, uh, for your time on the program. What exactly is the bottom line of the, uh, the signing and some of these deals that the president secured with uh, Morocco uh, yesterday? Well, I thank you for this opportunity. It is important that two countries on the continent are taking concrete steps to advance diplomacy, to, to, to go beyond the language of diplomacy, to establish concrete relationships that are beneficial directly to their own people. Look at this thing that they are doing you know, between Nigeria and Morocco on fertilizer that has brought down the price of fertilizer in Nigeria by between 50 to 60 percent. And now they are coming to set up a plan in our own Delta region to provide jobs for Nigerians, also to utilize the enormous resources available. In, the case, in their own case, they lacked ammonia, you know, for, for the production of fertilizers in the country, in their own country. We don't have phosphate and they're supplying phosphate to us. So it's like we are swapping. And this thing about the rail, I mean, the, the, the gas pipeline, Nigeria had always uh, toyed with the idea of having a, a gas pipeline that would convey Nigeria's enormous gas resources to the European market and to the West African sub-region itself. Now, this is a deal that says we're going to address that. How, so how, how long will the construction of that take and when, when do we hope that that will happen or be effective? Completion may take up to 20, 25 years. Uh, the details will be worked out. All of the things, now the thing is that you have to sit down and, and, and discuss the financials and even the route itself. There are options, whether this is going to be an offshore pipeline or onshore pipeline or a combination of the two. But I'm sure a, a, a big question would be the low hanging fruit. For a lot of Nigerians who are looking forward to jobs and who are looking forward to improvement in their lives and the livelihoods of many Nigerians, uh, what exactly uh, would you say are the low hanging fruit that we can benefit and see immediately? Uh, as I said to you, we are doing a lot with agriculture, creating a lot of jobs. What do I do? These agreements will mean that the fertilizer industry will hugely be boosted in the country and more of these plants, there are about 30 to 40 of them shut down over a long period of time. Now we've got only 14 back. More of this will be reopened. When they set up their ammonia plant in the south-south, that job for Nigerians, these pipelines will be constructed. The contractors, whether they are Chinese or Europeans, they will bring every man that they need for this job. So yes, these are jobs for the Nigerian people. Malam Garba Show, always a pleasure talking to you and uh, uh, clarifying some of these issues as relating to uh, the Morocco Nigeria deal. Many thanks for your thoughts on the program tonight. Uh, Rinsala Abiola, daughter uh, to late MQ Abiola, thank you so much for your thoughts tonight and we wish your family well as we look forward to the national honors uh, tomorrow. Perhaps, uh, uh, Malam Garba Show, just in 20 seconds, you've heard a lot of debate about um, uh, the national honors. Uh, from all of these that you've heard about GCFR, will the president perhaps be looking at declaration uh, of uh, late MQ Abiola as a winner of that election? Is he thinking in that direction? One step at a time. Now we have reached this stage. Many Nigerians never thought this was going to come. Now it's here. This is a new chapter that has been opened in the annals of the history of this country. Going forward, the government will decide anything can happen. Don't rule out anything, don't rule in anything. We must review that. Uh, that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shimon Kimale. Bye bye.